guys, I'm Nikki Limo. You're watching Just Riffin'. We're here at the Hollywood Improv with Dwayne Perkins, super funny comedian. How was your set tonight? Oh, uh, it was it was good. It was fun. A lot of fun. Uh, you see that even if it was bad? Yeah, it would. Well, because the main thing like is nice. the main thing is for you to have fun. Right. Yeah. And like, as a comic, and fun is contagious. So if you go, oh, I had a bummer set. I'm like, right, right. oh, this sucks. The the shape they were in when I got them. Right. They were in a, in a much better shape when I left them. You took the thermometer and you raised it up. Yeah. Kicked it up a notch. Much. If it was a jar of spaghetti, I could pass it to someone <laughs> and they can open it now. <laughs> right. I love spaghetti. So, we got some questions off Twitter. You can choose to answer them or not. I hope you do, though, because otherwise we wouldn't sure, have yeah, I mean, here. Sure, <laughs> yeah. This is my social security card number. I should be able to, to oh, answer. Oh, the first one is, what is your social security card oh, number? Oh, no. That's crazy. No, oh, that no. I just said that. And you can't. Oh, no. It's like I'm psychic, All right? of these say that. That's a, well, I guess Crap, I got it wrong. I guess that's the, that's <laughs> the end of that right. segment. Um, OK. Let's get some real questions Let's here. Let's do it. Let's do so, it. So, Lord Coyote 2000 asks, what classic comedians, like, for example, Lucille Ball is like a classic comedian, right. um, have had the most influence on you? George Carlin is my favorite comic. Yes. I wouldn't think of him as classic only because George Carlin and Richard Pryor basically they usher in the new wave of comedy. Yeah, right? I would call them classic because of that. Maybe, yeah, yeah. Like, so, anyone that was a trailblazer right, right. during a time where, like, they they revolutionized something, I right. feel like that's a classic. So, yeah, if we're going, like, but it would almost be like they are to comedy what Elvis may have been to rock and roll, like, the, the beginning True. of it, in a sense. Tony at Antonio asks, what do you do when someone or no one laughs at one of your jokes? First of all, uh, Tony, that rarely happens, so... What do He's I really do? funny. Get yes. over it. Handle yes. it. <laughs> but I, I will say this: for me, uh, if I'm on stage, if if they don't laugh, sometimes I write the best material in that moment. Yeah. Sometimes them not laughing is a blessing because. Or calling out the obvious. Right, because like if say you have a joke about fat people, and it's and they think it's mean and it's not mean. When you explain it, when you say it to the audience, guys, no, it's like blah, 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 blah. Sometimes that makes the joke better because now you have this true, this new, uh, this new thing to, to say. Yeah, so. And sometimes, okay, so let me ask you this. If that happens and then the second part ends up being funnier and then the next couple parts end up being funnier, do you keep it? Absolutely. If it works, I, yeah. I keep it. Yeah, if it makes sense, I keep it. So we went on Yahoo Answers and um, why do girls like feminine guys now? That's such a great question. And I've talked about this with my friends. So yeah. it's a pendulum, okay? And it swings too much to one side. So mm. if you go, if you look at the like maybe 80s, 90s, you know, there was a certain contingent of men that were too macho. And women were like, we want you to be sensitive. So then they got that yeah. now, but I think it's swinging back. That's why so many guys are growing beards. I think they're trying to look like men again, but- I like that. When the dust clears, men still have to be the men. The men will be men and the women will be women. Absolutely. Great answer. Yes. Dwayne, where can they find you? My website is DwaynePerkins.com, spelled D-W-A-Y-N-E. Uh, my Twitter handle is FunnyDP at 20DP. And uh, my podcast is called The Movie Night, and that's a really funny, okay. fun thing I do. Thank you for watching. Also subscribe to Wait For It. We have a lot more videos with other comedians, and ask us a question in the comments so we can ask more great questions to all our comedians. Thanks, guys. Bye.